In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a WordPress website using Elementor Pro. But for this, I'm going to be using Elementor Hosting because it includes the page builder itself, saving you a lot of money, plus professional hosting services. Let's dive in and let me show you how to build a website super fast using Elementor Pro and Elementor Hosting. So here we have several plans. So if you wanna just get started quickly building your own website, we can start here with the one website, which is 999. Now, if you use the link in the video description below, you are going to get 33% off. To get started, just click here on buy now. Now over here, you need to add your email and password. Next, you want to click on create my account. So now you can see it's registered. The next step now is to add my first name and last name. And then the next step here is to uh, add your country or region, uh, add your uh, address, but it's optional, so you don't have to add it here. Now you come all the way down here, there's an option for your postcode, so you wanna enter your postcode. So mine is, now over here we have an option to add our company name or VAT tax ID. We're gonna skip that and then click on continue. All right, so look at how easy this is. The next step now is to add your credit card details or you can purchase this using PayPal. Now, once you purchase this, you're going to get an email confirming this, and this is also going to give you uh, confirmation that everything has gone through. And then the next step now is to log into our admin dashboard. So this is what your control panel looks like. So this is my main website. So all I have to do now is to click on Edit with Elementor. So where we really wanna be is over here on WordPress because we need to get access to Elementor. Now you hover over here and then you wanna go to settings. Now it's very important you go here because this is where you need to come over here to features and activate features like Flexbox container, edit it on the top, grid container and so on. So I'm just gonna go in and activate everything because this is going to enhance our web design process. All right, so with all that activated, I'm gonna come all the way down here, click on save changes. All right, so the quickest way to design our website is by coming over here to templates and then you wanna go to kit library. So this is where we have a library of web design layouts which we can use as a starting point. So look at this, we have a blog or magazine, we also have a wireframe, we have portfolio, we also have simple website. So what we are going for is a simple website. So I'm gonna uncheck all these and just leave simple website. So what we're going to go with now is uh, perhaps maybe a website that looks like this. So you can actually view the demo by just clicking here on view demo and you're going to see what your website is going to look like once you uh, import this. Okay, so that looks pretty okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to come all the way to the top here and click on apply kit. I'm gonna say apply all. I'm gonna skip this option. So the next step now is to come over here to the bottom since everything has now been uh, imported. I'm gonna click on see it live. So this is what our website looks like. All we have to do now is to go in and add all our images. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna come over here and uh, swap this image with my own image. I'm gonna click here on this little pencil icon and you can see here we have five images. So I can just go in here and replace these with my own images. So I'm gonna come over here and add to gallery. So I'm going to upload my own files here. Click on select files. Now I've already gone ahead and downloaded some images. So all I have to do is to um, highlight all my images and then click on open. So let me just uncheck the images that I don't want to use. So I'm just gonna go with uh, these ones. Click add to gallery. And then I'm just gonna remove the ones I don't need here from the gallery, just like that. So now I have all my images. I'm gonna say insert into gallery and just by doing that, I've updated my gallery over here. Look at how beautiful this is. Okay, excellent. Now, when it comes to these images here, I can also go in and change these images. I'm gonna click here on this gear icon, come over here, and then choose my image. So let's say I wanna go with this one here. I'm gonna hit select, and there is my image. So we can also further customize this image and make sure that it is centered the way you want. Now, over here on the text, if you wanna change this text, just click here on this pencil icon. Now we have an option of using AI as well. So if we click here on edit with AI, this now is going to give you this uh, pop-up where you can say, I approve the terms and conditions like that and then click on get started. So I'm gonna say, suggest a title for my cycling website. So I'm gonna say generate text and then I'm gonna say, make it shorter. Yeah, I think that's much better. I'm gonna say use text. All right, so let's continue on designing our website so we can come over here 
And all this text here is easily customizable by coming over here. And then if you want to change the colors, you can just come over here to style, click on this global icon and then choose your colors. So let's say you want to use something different. We can always come over here like that and choose our colors and then continue designing it that way. Now over here, you can see we have these images that we may need to uh, replace. So I'm gonna go in and change these images one by one. I'm gonna start with this one here. Hit select, come to the second one, click on the image. This time, let's choose this one, select. And these are all my images. So as you can see here, it's very, very easy to use, very, very easy to add my content. So what you wanna do once you're done, just hit publish and then go to each and every page and make your changes. So here we have the services, work, about, and contact us pages. All you have to do is to go in and make those updates. Finally, you wanna add your logo. And to do that, you just click over here on this header area, go to site logo, or you can come over here and click on this logo. And then you want to go in and click or change site logo. And then you wanna go in here and add your own. So, I can see here we don't have a logo, so I may just leave this as it is. But in your case, you can upload your logo or you can use an existing logo that is already in your library. So let's say, for example, this is our logo. I know it's way too big, but I'm going to hit select and then save changes. You can see it's been updated now with our logo. But as I mentioned, this is way too small. So this is not how you want to uh, customize this. But anyway, what I'm going to do quickly here is to adjust the size a little bit. So I'm going to come over here to the height and set this to 72 so that it's a bit visible. All right. So when you're done with that, just hit publish. And pretty much we had a website. We got it up and running super fast. Now let's do a quick preview. And there we go. Here's our website. So that is how you design a website super fast using Elementor hosting. So as you can see, I was able to go in, grab a template and start adding all my content on it. The hosting is already there. My page builder is already there. What more can you ask for? Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.